So I'm going to make a video showing a few things that we like to do with push pins. So up here is the push pin tool and I'm gonna select the push pins. I can mark on my quilt various points by selecting the white button while I'm in the Mach 3 screen. And so I'm gonna mark those push pins by select. And you can hear that I have my audio selected to make a noise every single time I do a push pin. And when I'm done, I can either hit the done button on the lightning screen, or I can hit the done button up here. Now what we've got is we've got a purple line with uh, blue dots marking our push pins. Because it's purple, it's locked and DQ'd. It's not going to sew and it's not easy to select. So if I'm trying to turn off those push pins because maybe I put them in the wrong spot, you can see it just wants to select that cute shark pattern behind it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my push pin screen and I'm gonna touch remove all. I could also remove individual, but if I hit remove all, the push pins are going to go away, but I still can't select this line left by my push pins. It's not gonna sew. I could ignore it, but if it bothers me, what I can do is right click and I have two options. One is to go down to unlock and that will allow me to select the pattern and delete it. But you can see it still wants me to select this bigger pattern. So what I'm going to do is go down to group manager and I've got my push pin pattern and my edge to edge pattern. I'm gonna select the push pin pattern and I'm gonna change it from DQ'd and locked to queued and unlocked. When I do that, you can see that the pattern is going to change color from purple to green. Now I can select it very easily. It's dark green, right click and delete. If it's the only pattern on the screen, you can right click and unlock it. But if there's multiple patterns, it's always better to go to group manager.